Under my authority, as delegated by the Secretary of the Navy, I have awarded you the Expeditionary Service Ribbon for Heroic Service. Upon loss of contact with a Marine unit, you advanced into a Xenomorph Hive and confirmed the status of three MIAs. You then completed their mission, resulting in the destruction of said Hive. Your boldness and dedication are in keeping with the finest traditions of the Colonial Marine Corps and United America's Armed Services. Given this day, in May 2202, Colonel Olivia Ship, Commanding Officer, 33rd Marine Regiment, 11th Marine Division. Some things don't belong in official reports. Katanga has been a stain on the honor of the Corps for years. If you haven't heard the details yet, don't worry about it. I'll just say I'm personally glad to see the place blown to hell. Report to Lieutenant Santos for debriefing. Dismissed. Parabéns. Guess we can't call you Boot no more, huh? Hell of a deployment. We found shit Whaling Yutani spent a lot of time and money hiding. Ruins left by aliens that look like us. An orbital refinery used as a Xeno breeding farm. And a lab using tech from the ruins on Xenos from the refinery. We still got a secure LV-895 in the alien ruins. There's Xenos and mutants running loose down there. Normally, we carpet nuke the place. Ruins be damned, but Doc Hanukkah says that can make things worse. Spray that pathogen shit all over the damn moon. Near term, we're gonna hold orbit. Keep this shit locked down. I'll bet my ample marine paycheck they're on their way here right now. They'll send military contractors, dog catcher units, lawyers. Maybe they'll talk. Maybe they'll just start shooting. But that ain't all we gotta worry about. Doc Hanukkah says some rival company to Whalen Yutani sabotaged Palace Station. Whoever that was, if they heard his mayday, they might be on their way here too. Eh, shit's gonna get real interesting right here. Hey, uh, aside from Esther, I think you're the one I've spent the most time with. It was all running and shooting and screaming, but that's time. Right? Look, one of the Paula Station crew was a spy for Hyperdyne Systems. We never found out what he sent off station. Maybe his handlers know all about the pathogen and the Xenomorph outbreak. They could be on their way here now. Well, Wayland Yutani used to own Hyperdyne, but now they're competitors, especially on the frontier. No governments claimed any of these systems. They're both dropping colonies all over, trying to beat each other to the best planets. And besides that, I mean, Hyperdyne's a big defense contractor for the UPP, right? Shouldn't we be worried about this starting a war between them and us? The pathogen could be a terrible weapon. Wayland was just trying to make better xenomorphs with it, but you could just drop it. Dump it in a water supply. There's enough down there to wipe out every human colony. Wayland Yutani's got to be on their way here. If Hyperdyne is too, things could get real bad for everyone caught in the middle. Hmm. I know you've got things to deal with right now. I'm just worried about what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> 